this, this circle clock. Okay, all these studios that were here in my day are gone now. Here's Reba's place. This is Reba McIntyre on Starstruck. Big, giant recording studio uh, with a helicopter pad on top. And so here we're coming up on, on uh, there's WLAC radio station right there. Um, this used to be um, Tree Publishing. Right there. On this corner. Yeah, that's gone. And that corner used to be Ray Stevens Studio. Yes, it it's did. gone. Wow. It is absolutely gone. Let's go up the alley here. And uh These were all studios at one time. Um, I don't think they are anymore. They're not anymore, I don't think. This was a studio at one time right here, this building. Can't remember the name of it. Lots of recording studios are gone. The road closed. Dang on, you can't get the RCA through here. So, let's do this. Let's turn around. The parking lot we're in right now, it used to be a studio called The Battery. Battery? Uh-huh. Like car battery? Yeah, car battery. And it is a office building now. And it's just amazing to see that. I guess this is condos. Um, yeah, it looks like condos. This, this is the Music Row, Music Square area. Bobby's Idle Hour. A lot of people go there between recording sessions. And, uh, nobody's there now. Wow. It's crazy. It's a shame they have to tear everything down. Yeah, all of the history is. It's being torn down. I think it's there's a... only one or two recording studios downtown left. Most everybody now does it in their home. home in their house, home studios. The records you hear are cut behind uh, some dude that sits behind a computer, programmer. All records are programmers now. There's not very many real musicians on the recordings out of Nashville now. on the corner is Curb Recording Studio. Worked in there many times through the years. Countless times. Countless. Countless. So, they haven't, so we can't get the RCA unless, unless we do it up this alley here. Okay, again, here we are behind Reba's, Reba's studio. Is it this spot? Right here on the left. This oh, on the Reba's. left. Okay. okay. This is Reba's. Oh, one quick thing, right here. This is Curb's studio entrance. I've been in that door many times. There is a ramp you walk up. And one winter, we were doing a recording session and uh, a drummer friend of mine was on the session and he slipped on ice and broke his ankle right there. On the other side of that dumpster. On the other side of that dumpster. Tearing it and, apart, uh, I guess. <laughs> felt so bad for him. He Aww. was loading out and he slipped and fell. Bless his heart. And he has since passed away. He was a really good guy and great drummer. Aww. Played on a lot of recordings. And that was a that was nice was, studio. Was Tommy, uh, I can't think of Tommy's last name. He's Aww. well known in Nashville. He was a well known musician. Okay, here we are at RCA. There. Yeah. yeah. And the studio at RCA now is called used to be called Avelina. They've since changed it back to RCA. Let's see if we can get around to worked in there many, many times. It's a huge place where they could set up a, an, an entire orchestra. The, the room was so big. Um, you know, a full band and orchestra strings. Okay, here we are at RCA B. And it's, this B is where all the history is, really. Yes, this is where all the big, yes. This is where Elvis recorded Roy Orbison. 
Well, look, here's a tour well, of us. Yeah. <laughs> Roy Orbison, uh, Dottie West, mm -hmm. the Everly Brothers. A lot of hits mm -hmm. came out of this place. Um, and I re the last time I was in there, I recorded an album with Marty Stewart. RCO, it's uh -huh. RCA Victor B, right there. Elvis cut uh, 30 songs here one time within a week wow. and hired all the Nashville A team. Pretty big records come out of there. It's an interesting place. I guess that's the front. Yeah. yeah. I always entered in through the back. back. But it was, it was fascinating for me to record it there with Marty Stewart, knowing I was sitting on the same floor playing steel guitar oh, yeah. where Elvis had stood and sang and recorded his albums. And I guess that was Curb and Warner uh, Warner uh, Chapel um, Publishing. Publishing, yes. This is, oh, now these are these old buildings here. They yeah. used to be studios. Now we're crossing Chet Atkins Plaza. Mm -hmm. Anyway, here's another one. Oh tour. my goodness, look at all the Condos and now, just sitting on this history. Yeah. That yeah. hurts. So this corner <laughs> where I just mentioned that Ray Stevens studio was was also his television studio. And mm -hmm. the TV shows that you're seeing on television now of Ray Stevens were done with, right there. Were done right there where there is no more building. Let's, it's crazy. Let's cruise on down through, yeah. Since then he has built He has built a beautiful new theater with a mm -hmm. studio and and yeah. dinner theater. But yeah, that was where we did all the TV shows for Ray that you're seeing on TV to this day. Of course, the shows are only three or four years old. And all these houses through here used to be recording studios, you know. Well, the houses are mostly gone now, yeah. turned into condos and apartments. It's really sad. Yeah, it's, the history of Nashville has just been... It's, it's right here. Yeah, but it was right here, on, and it's, it's been just wiped out. Yeah. Boundary Records. So here is Ocean Way Recording Studio. It's, I'm sure people in the music business have heard about it. Um, beautiful studio. It used to be the uh, Tony Alamo Church back many, many years ago. And he got in trouble, and uh, someone bought it, turned it into a recording studio. And it's a beautiful big room inside with stained glass windows like you'd expect in a church. They didn't change any of that. And a beautiful lobby. It's a really nice recording studio. One of the last uh, big studios left in Nashville. Big, loud recording, management, publishing. I don't think there's a studio in there. Let's see if I can go straight across, if I can show you something else. I don't know what smack is, I've never heard of that. That's something new. This guy will go on here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see what street is the position.
Communications Union is. And, uh, there's a row of studios behind Musicians Union. And I think this might be this there. Maybe not. We'll see. It's been so long since I worked down here. Um, the studio scene kind of. And this has all changed since we've been married. I mean, oh, the, gosh, it's... the music business has just changed tremendously, yeah. as well as the TV industry. Yeah, it's all. Uh, See, all this is all new. This is. Let's try this. What we got going here? Let's try the music circle. Yeah, all this. That's BMI. Yeah, BMI Publishing. Um, yeah, those studios that are behind the union, are, I guess, are gone. Um, and how do you even get into the musicians' union now? Well, that's it? it right there. Right, here's the musicians' union. Wow. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't look like yeah, it doesn't, nothing, anything like Nothing looks the same. Now, yeah, I guess that's called the uh, Black River. That used to be a studio I recorded. And next to it, right there, that used to be Ronnie Millsap's recording studio. I don't know what it's called now. It, where, where sound stage is? Where or? sound stage is. Okay. So, and here we go back around the corner. I know it's kind of confusing. But it was it was so nice to have all the studios so close together and convenient because if you worked in one studio from ten o'clock to one o'clock, you could grab and go get lunch at one of these little places around there close, which they're kind of old, and uh, and be at the next studio and set up and be in time to work until two o'clock. While you're still eating your sandwich. Yeah, while you're still eating your sandwich. <laughs> Been many times I ate a sandwich in the car. <laughs> work three sessions down here in one day, you know, work at 10 o'clock, 10 to 1, be off for an hour, work from 2 to 5, off for an hour, work 6 to 9, done it many days. I don't know how I did it. Those of you who are sensitive to loot statues, yeah, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we never oh, figured this we one never out. Knew why that'd be on, on, on the music square circle. <laughs> All the shame, the pity. Okay, so now we're back on Broadway. And we're just a few blocks from where all the honky tonks are and uh, all that. that. There was a place back there called Little Chicago. I don't know I what, wonder what that is. I have no idea. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. You know? Look at all the big buildings now. I know. These are all new. These are all condos and office buildings. And it's it's crazy. It's, it's just unbelievable. Oh, no. And the building, there was, I think, one morning when I came down here with you to go to work. We counted 26. 26 or 27 cranes. Of, yeah, just cranes. Just working cranes. The Not the bird cranes, but the yeah, they... mechanical cranes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, I'm not sure what we're... Okay, we just crossed over 12, and uh, just went by Del 
Frisco's Grill. I've heard that was Del Frisco's. Good. I've heard of that. I think it's been on the food network. And uh, let's see. There's Union Station here. The train station. Train right station. There. there used to be some nice restaurants in there. Yeah. There's railroad tracks. Yeah, I think that's where we caught the train to. Uh, oh, yes, it was. To done this Somewhere driving tour here. before, but we just thought by impulse we'd show you Music Row mm -hmm. and right the proximity. Here, this crazy shaped wing here was that's the country music hall of fame. But uh, we just wanted to show you mm -hmm. the proximity of everything, and this yes. is, this is kind of a spur of the moment. We just mm -hmm. want to show the proximity of. Uh, and over here is where the symphony plays, I believe. Yeah. Isn't that? It the, is. Uh, I can't think of the can't name. Can't think of the name of it either. Oh well, but the Nashville Symphony. Nashville building, Symphony. Yeah. yeah, that's where they play. Um, we've never been. I'd like to go sometime. I would too. But you know, everything is uh, in proximity of walking distance. Oh, yes. Nashville has a lot to offer right now with uh, yeah, really new does. new places, and uh, it's really interesting. And you know, I guess it's always been a great place for people to come and visit. We've just been here and worked everything behind the scenes and it doesn't really seem that fabulous to us, but they're getting a lot of new things now and it's starting to seem fabulous. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, I couldn't, a year ago I wouldn't have said that I wanted to have a vacation in Nashville if I didn't live here, but yeah. uh, now it's, I can so see much why people do. would want to. Yeah, there's there's a lot to see and yeah. do now. And uh, let's go on down to first. And here's the diner. We've gone the to diner. We, out we've before. eaten in there. Yeah. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stories yeah. or something. It's all restaurants. Yeah. It's all the diner. Uh, we're gonna go over on to first. Uh, hopefully. Oh. Southern air. There's a restaurant down here that's supposed to be really good. It's called the Southern. And, yeah. And they have really good green or fried green tomatoes, from what I hear. Okay. I've never been there. Okay. Here's the Hampton Social, another great restaurant. Okay. Here's yeah. some beautiful modern art here on the river. Okay. We're we're right at the Cumberland River, yes. just over that. Yes, and that over there is one of the bridges. This here is a walkway, isn't it? Yeah. If if you'll go back and look at some of our earlier videos, yeah. you'll you'll see this and the the river. This bridge here, you can park over at the stadium for downtown parking, the stadium over there, and walk across this bridge right here, which crosses the river. It's a nice little walk. Yeah, and, and the river's pretty. Interesting. Well, it looks like. They're, they're still re, rebuilding oh, because of the bomb. Yeah. The bim. That's right. It affected that. Stuff. And there's the Hard Rock Cafe. Right there. I'm not a fan of the food there. It's not good. Yeah. I, I haven't been to this one, but we went to the one in Miami and it was not good. It was terrible. It was. Didn't you go to the one, though, in LA and it was good with. It wasn't good either. Yeah. It wasn't. I went there with Lady Gaga's band. She took y'all to eat there. Yeah, she took us to the Hard Rock. But I, I it just like wasn't. I remember you 
for a Lady Gaga band meeting. <laughs> and she is just sweet as she can be. She's she is really nice. Awfully nice to me. Yes. She likes steel guitar, so we like her. That's good. That's very good. I mean you would never really know that. But she liked my steel guitar playing, so a good thing when when he was called to do that he said lady gaga he didn't know who it was well, i'd heard of her yeah but... and he looked at me and he said do i want to go play with lady gaga i said uh yeah, yeah she's great old red right there so here we are back in nashville and, and if you look back through our videos we've done a couple mm -hmm. nashville walking tours in a Nashville drive through This is spur of the moment. We were down here and just started seeing some new things and, you know. That's the bronze over there. People are always interested, it seems like, in what's going on down here. And, uh, so, I mean, there's a lot yeah. of new things and uh, yeah. a lot to do. Yeah. Just so and, much to you do. know, and if you, you know, body piercings in the yeah, if you tattoo, to, you yeah, know, if you, you want to do that while you're here, you know, you just, that's right above the, the FedEx These office. people are horrible people. Get out of the way. <laughs> They're horrible people. <laughs> Touristers go home. What do you think this is? Some place to uh, vacation? No, you know, it's, it's crazy. It, mm -hmm. it is now a, really a vacation destination, but to me, still the star of the Nashville town guitar town as they call it the Grand Ole Opry is still the star of the town Absolutely. you know the Grand Ole Opry is yeah. something that uh, you know people come from all around the world to see and this just happens to be a side benefit of the Grand Ole Opry Grand Ole Opry really built all this you know that's yeah. what brought this here Absolutely. Grand Ole Opry country music Wish country music would come back. Steel guitars and fiddles. Banjos. Okay, so that was a nice little tour. Yeah. There you go. Well. There you go. There you go. If you enjoyed this tour that Tommy just gave you, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit all those buttons. Come on, yes. come on, people. Yes, I told Tommy today my birthday's not until October, but all I want for my birthday is a thousand subscribers. <laughs> that's funny because all I want for my birthday is my hair to grow back. Well, that's probably not gonna happen, I is it? Know. Well, we're gonna get yes. you some subscribers, honey. <laughs> Everybody, thanks for watching. Yes, subscribe and hit that like button and notification bell. Absolutely. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Here's the upper end of Broadway. You can see the windows blown out from that Of 2nd Avenue. Of 2nd Avenue, I'm sorry. 2nd Avenue. Mm -hmm. Still repairing. Yeah. How long has it been since January? Well, it's, it's uh, yeah. the first of January. It's Christmas, Christmas Day. Christmas Day bomber. Idiot.